Hey, I'm Christine Bradley with the Christine Bradley team, and we're with Atlanta Fine Homes, Sotheby's International Realty. We spend most of our time in the markets of Buckhead, East Cobb, Sandy Springs, Vinings, and Smyrna. And so today I thought it was a good idea to talk about staging. I wanted to talk about some of the terms that we hear a lot and don't really know exactly what that means. So staging has become a term that you hear all the time. I've staged my house. Sometimes sellers think that they can do it themselves. Sometimes that means that a stager has been hired and what is a stager? Um, in my experience, a stager is a designer or a decorator who's kind of morphed over into the real estate sales side of their industry. And so their goal is to work with me and my goal is to make the house look how someone thinks that they would live in it. So we kind of take out family photos and comfy furniture and throws and rugs and all kinds of things that distract from the house and the structure itself and then rearrange furniture so that it shows the room it is greatest. So I've had some struggles with sellers when I come in and there's simple things like we need to see the floor so all those throw rugs need to go away and they think that they add a design factor to their home and they do. But when you're selling a house, we're not selling how someone lives, we're selling how someone would like to live. So a lot of times that means bringing in more modern furniture or reducing um, very traditional furniture and then you know, kind of combining them together. When you look on online on photographs, quite often you can see a house that looks like someone lives there and it looks a little cluttered and there's too much stuff and you can't really see the house, the walls, the color, the chandeliers and the flooring. And so staging, I would say 80% of staging is just pulling probably 20 or 30% of people's possessions off the walls, off the counters, and then either packing them to move or putting them below so they can't be seen. Sometimes it's a rearranging of artwork. Every house is a little bit different. What I do for my clients is I provide that first staging appointment complimentary. My stager comes to the house, we walk through it, and it's a real conversation with the seller. You know, the designer wants to just set up the house the best way they can to get it sold, and then I'm there to make sure that we realize that they do watch TV, they do read the newspaper underneath this lamp, and there's things that are within their house that make them feel good about living at home that need to stay. So we try to kind of balance those two things together. If furniture is brought in, it's typically over a three month contract with my stager, and then there is a fee associated with it. Sometimes it's just rearranging someone's current furniture and we don't have to bring anything in. Sometimes it's bringing in a few things. And then we've had unbelievably great success with vacant homes. And that is just staging the main rooms, the, the living room, the eat-in kitchen, and quite often the master bedroom or an office space. What that does is instead of showing a big wide open room, it shows how furniture can be positioned. We like to make sure we're using a king size bed so you don't have to wonder, is this a small room but they put in a small bed to make me think that um, everything fits better. And then the last part of staging, we've got virtual staging, staging and that's a little bit newer to our market. Sometimes you can tell because it looks a little overlay, but it gives you an idea of how furniture fits in a room. And then buyers, when they're looking online, they like immediate gratification. So having that house stage and having it look its best is hugely important. If I were to put a house on the market and not do any staging or preparation and take photos and then have it not sell and then go back, it would be really hard to reintroduce that house to the market again as if something is different. So I find that staging is one of the most important things we do, at least in a conversation with the seller up front some small adjustments that can typically done and then kind of go all the way down the gamut that if it's a vacant house that we put furniture in there so that the house feels warm and lived in and you can uh, virtually feel how it would be to live there as a buyer. And that's a little bit about staging. Thank you.